Takashi san, please. Please, a round of applause. Takashi san no, Venture Partner of Global Brain. Center, you got a center seat. Okay, next up we have Bern T. Sonofon Chai, partner of Ventura Capital. We have Carmen Yuan, Investment Director, Vertex Ventures. Yong Su Ping, Second Vice President, Walden International. Lastly, Nick Lim, Co-Founder and CEO, 8 Capital. Alright, judges have taken their seats. We are about to get ready to go. Alright, once again, amazing belt. Awesome judges, great prizes, ready for you guys to fight it out. Final 11, get ready. First up, we have Simgo. Operating Officer for Simple. Today, what I'm going to do down here is to showcase to you the world's first SIM management platform. One of the biggest problems that we won't realize in the world today is the SIM card. The SIM card itself is basically the biggest issue that is limiting the growth of mobility services anywhere in the world. Talking about the ability to manage SIM cards, the ability to deploy SIM cards literally on the fly, and you think about it from an IT service provider where they need to manage millions and millions of devices. This is a very big problem. So what Simgo has developed is actually a platform. What we did is that we removed the SIM card from the device and basically put it into the cloud. We are then able to dynamically assign a SIM card to any mobile device based on time, location, cost, user preference, and a lot more. Imagine the marketplace for this application. We are talking about an IT administrator sitting, sitting at his desk somewhere in the middle of the world, managing his user base of 150,000 devices. From the comfort of his desktop, he's able to manage the push and pull of any SIM card from any mobile device anywhere in the world. We are talking about creating new revenue models for IoT service providers, being able to deploy SIM cards across their millions and billions of devices anywhere in the world. We are talking about basically looking at mobile network operators, removing one of their biggest nightmares, removing their nightmare of logistically trying to manage their SIM cards. And of course, most of all, we want to help our consumers like you provide you a service that allows you to travel the world with only one single charge, everything at local rates. Think about the concept of how SIM gold could affect any device in the world. We are talking about connected cars, we are talking about airplanes, we are talking about smartphones, and we are talking about cameras and wearables. We are taking our baby steps to the market. The first product that we are launching in August 2014 will be a global Wi-Fi solution that allows users to travel anywhere in the world. And what I am able to do is to deliver a local SIM card to the device anywhere in the world. What it means in short to every one of you today is that you are able to travel around the world pay everything local, everything on local data charges. We have already got close to about 50,000 devices committed and I personally will guarantee $4 million of revenue over the next six months for whoever is joining us. The question to all of you is, what's next? Very interestingly, over the last two days we have heard so many interesting ideas and concepts from all of our participants down here. Being a platform provider, what we have created is the ability to create new concepts and ideas that we can deploy to any device. And what's next? Three minutes. Up. All depend on you. Thank you. Judges, five minutes of Q&A. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Q&A time. Can you share your distribution strategy? Simco is primarily a very partner-centric organization. So what we are working with is we are working very closely with a lot of partners for global distribu distribution of devices. Uh, we have set up distribution for this particular uh, the first device that we are launching uh, in Europe, sorry, in, uh, in Europe, in uh, Japan, Korea, as well as in Asia. So that's one of our, the path to market. We are actually working very closely also with handset device manufacturers. We are working currently developing a solution with one of the top manufacturers today. We are also talking to some of the biggest chipset manufacturers in the world. So we are actually going to embed our software solution into chipsets where enable us to go to market. We are going to 
deliver basically a software solution that enables basically 80-90% of the world devices to be converted into something of a single platform. Do you expect to lose money distributing the hardware? No, we are not expecting that. Okay. And are the SIMs, do you, do you run dual SIM always on? Or is it one SIM and you want time on? Uh, basically, the solution in itself allows us to run single SIM, double SIMs. Yeah, it basically uh, depends on what the end solution that we are uh, delivering. So how do you compare to a dual SIM phone? How do you compare to a dual SIM phone? It's simple. What we are doing is that we are really offering the users the convenience of having a SIM card. So are both SIMs on all the time? Can they receive calls at the same time? One after the other? You don't even need a dual SIM phone to run. You basically have a device that only has a single SIM card. That's all you need. This SIM card... Yeah, because like for myself, I have credit cards and bank accounts in different countries, right? So yes. I run OTPs from different countries. Yes. So how does that work? We run OTP from different countries. Uh, unfortunately, what we can do today is basically we can actually resolve the OTP issue on your whole country SIM card. But if let's say you have multiple SIM cards and everything, this is something that we can't do. But if let's say for the whole country SIM card, we can actually get all the SMSs redirected to our devices and basically you get all your SMSs or your OTP down there as well. Alright, so what's your device cost? We are looking at a device cost of something like uh, somewhere between about 35 US dollars to about 80 US dollars a device. Because the telcos are running uh, these wireless Wi-Fi device calls at 1522, 27, and they defray the cost by billing you every month or for 10 months, etc. Right? So how, how can you have positive margins on the front end for the handset? But basically itself, what we are really working with is a lot of partners who are market. So, if you look so at the partners are going to lose money no, no, on the distribution? Basically, what it means in short is that the operators are only able to deliver a service that allows a single, a single SIM card to be the device. What we are offering is something of a totally different concept in which we are able to push a producing solution down. What we look at, at least in the market today, most of the Wi Fi device that supports a 4G solution is somewhere in the region of about 40 to 50 US dollars. We're just slightly above that. So, basically, as far as where we are concerned today, we do not expect uh, basically to take any negative costs in terms of the devices. And basically what we see is that we are able to push our devices to the market either at a higher margin than compared to what the operator's devices are able to do. So last question is, are you deploying the sticker methodology? The sticker methodology, there is a very big fundamental issue in that because most of what the sticker is able to do is still a roaming solution. It doesn't allow you to actually reduce the rate as much as what we are doing. We are talking basically a per day travel of somewhere in the region of like $2 a day compared to a sticker solution which still costs you somewhere in the range of 10, 20, or whatever. Um, maybe you can share a little bit more about where do you see your first 40,000 single cards or single holders? Where will it be distributed? How do you plan to reach corporates, assuming that corporates are, have tons of people traveling for branding? So, where, where the first 40,000 devices are going today? Uh, this is a good question. We have 40,000 devices going to both China and Japan today. Basically, they are used for my private rental companies. They are really renting this solution on the market. Enterprise, actually, that would be our strong point because we all came from enterprise background. So, we have basically very good reach. My global team has got very good reach, really with the top of the uh, telecom managers in big Fortune 5 companies. We have already approached big Fortune 5 companies today, which are going on trial with us very soon once the devices are launched. And we will expect, basically, the enterprise to be quite of our customers. Uh, can you describe the, the proprietary technology or uh, what's special about your solution? So, so what is special, really special about the solution is the ability to actually be able to remotely deliver a SIM card to any device, any device at all. So that is what is the thing about it. Okay, sorry, we'll be able to finish that question. Time's up, five minutes up. Thank you very much. Thank you for the pitch. Thank you, Sam.